close your eyes and watch your breath. And try to stay right here. If you start wandering around away from the breath, you're losing your center. When you leave the center, you, you start going into the world that spins around. How does it spin? It spins with material gain, material loss, status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. Around and around like that, never arriving at any one thing. The gain comes, then it's gone. Then it comes back again, then it's gone again. The same with all the other qualities. So are you going to find any real satisfaction out of these things? The best thing you can do is when gain comes, you learn how to use it properly. In other words, you use it to develop your own goodness, and for your true goodness and for the goodness of the world. The same with your status. As for praise, don't let it go to your head. Realize the people giving you encouragement to be even better. And as for criticism, you look at it to see whether it's true or not. As the Buddha said, when good people criticize us, they're pointing out a treasure. In other words, an area of the mind or an area of our behavior that we might not have noticed that can be improved. So we should be grateful for that. If it turns out, however, that criticism is wrong, we've learned something about the other person. It may not be something you want to learn, but it's a good lesson to know. In other words, you will learn how to use these things. And how do you use them? Well, you stay in the center. And when they come and when they go, you can see them coming, see them going, and figure out what's the best use. Not think that they're of any essence. The essence lies inside. Otherwise you go spinning after these things, and they don't spin innocently. They're not like little tops. They're more like gears in a machine. And if a little piece of your clothing gets stuck in them, then they pull and pull and pull. And if you don't let go of it, they're going to get pulled into the gears and smashed up by the gears. So you have to learn how to stand apart, stand in the center. And as things spin around, you don't spin around with them. Because when you spin around after these things, after a while you get dizzy, lose your sense of what's right and what's wrong. But as long as you've got a good, solid center inside and know how to maintain it, then you can live in the world, see these things coming and going, get the best use out of them as they come, get the best use out of the times when they're gone. When you lose status, when you lose your wealth, that's when you know who your true friends are. So even though the things, there are things in the world that we don't like, sometimes we can learn from them. And that's what we're trying to do is we train the mind, put it in a position where it can learn its lessons well and that gets smashed by the gears of the world as they turn.